Hi everyone, my name is Chloe and my pronouns are she and her. Since leaving high school, I bounced around a little bit before I found where I wanted to land. I completed New Step in 2017, which was not for me. I enrolled in a Bachelor of Community Services in 2018 through TAFE New South Wales, which was completely online, which I completed in 2022. And I'm currently completing my Master of Counselling online through an institute in Queensland. I was extremely lucky during my first placement in my bachelor's to be offered a casual position at the organisation I did my placement hours with, which is where I work currently. Since first being employed as a casual, I have changed roles and I am now the coordinator of peer work across Acon. I have a team of four peer workers, about to be six, who work across two services, the Suicide Prevention and Aftercare Service and the Trans Mental Health and Wellbeing Service where we work with people over the age of 18 across New South Wales. Aside from managing and supporting my team and growing the services, I also support clients on their recovery journey in the Suicide Prevention Service as a person who has a lived and living experience of suicide and mental unwellness. The highlight of my time at Curry Curry High is an interesting question and honestly the highlight for me was finishing school and leaving. Not because all of my time at Curry High was bad or stressful, but because leaving allowed me to find more people like me, but also people who have different experiences to me, who I have learned the most from. I encourage you all to go out and find people who have different experiences to you. You can honestly learn so much from them. I know sometimes people can talk about school like it's the foundation that sets you up for life. And while that can be true, it's not the only pathway and all of the options that are available to you, whether it's TAFE, whether it's an apprenticeship, all of those options are just as valid and as good as the rest. We all have our own timelines, dreams and passions. Don't lose sight of them comparing them to another's because they aren't all meant to look the same. One piece of advice that I would give my high school self is to move through to live in. I actually still use this piece of advice every day when I come up against something that's really challenging and I have really big and intense feelings about it. To me, it means to embrace the entire human experience, even the challenging stuff, so that you can be fully connected to what it is to live. That is not to say that it's not hard or that you're not tired, but rather to let it be okay and normal that you feel those things. Slow down and ask for support so that you can move through them and not get stuck in a place of feeling disconnected. I will leave you with one last thing as, I'm, as I've never really been good at just giving one piece of advice, um, but your words matter. And I know people say that a lot, but you might not see the impact of your words, but I do. It could be a lasting memory that fuels a person's insecurity and pain for the rest of their lives, or it could be a memory of compassion that is cherished as proof that good exists even when things get dark. And you all get to choose.